Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scorekeeping with the LA Dodger Dog. My name is Alan. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we're going to learn all about outs. It's not a fun one. We're going to see our boys strike out. We're going to see our guys uh, line out, fly out, uh, all kinds of things. So here's how we score those things. Here we go. All right, guys, here's that same lineup that we had uh, as always. So Betts, Muncy, Turner, Belly, Pollock, Seeger, Smith, Lux, Bueller. Um, and of course, we still got Bueller pitching. All right, so first thing we're going to do is uh, hits off an uh, infielder, and uh, they somehow get him out. So let's say Betts, uh, he hits a ball uh, off the pitcher on a one and one count. Now, again, you can determine if you want to keep track of the balls and strikes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It gets too tedious. It just depends on how much you want to enjoy the game. Um, but for this purpose, we're going to try and keep track of the balls and strikes. All right, Betts gets a hit, uh, or hits the ball off of the pitcher and deflects to second base. So, and then the second baseman throws to first base to get him out. Really odd play, but it happens. So we're going to label that as a one, four, three. Because it goes from the pitcher to the second baseman to the first baseman. And that is an out. So that's out number one. So that is hits off an infielder for an out. Um, the next thing we're going to do is a line out to an infielder. So Muncy comes up to bat. He's got a two and two count. Let's say. And he lines out to third base, let's say. Uh, so that would go down as a L5. And if he lined out to shortstop, it would go L6. Now, what I do for outs is I put a circle, a pretty dark one there. Uh, and so this, in this case, it would be two for two outs. Now, Turner comes in. He lines out to an outfielder. So you can decide if it's a line out or a fly out, meaning flies out, uh, that it has more of an arc to it, really pops up, or it's a line out, direct. In this case, it's a really well hit ball. He is going to line out to um, left field. So that is number seven position. So we're gonna put an L seven. And that's out number three, unfortunately. It's not a fun episode for our guys. And that's the end of that inning. So we're going to label that as such. In the next inning, Bellinger leads off. He is going to ground out to first base. So there's two ways of doing that. You can put a U for unassisted. And then three. Because he that first baseman handled the ball and got him out. Or you can do G3. It's up to you. Really, develop your own style. It doesn't matter here. Uh, that would still be an out, though. Let's say he grounds out to shortstop for Pollock. So he goes 6-3. Okay. All right, so up next, we're going to do a force-out example. Uh, so let's say Seeger hits a, uh, a single... And he hit it to left field. Uh, we're going to draw a line from home to first. That's my bird. Don't mind her. Uh, and uh, next is Smith. He is going to hit into a force out uh, uh, to shortstop. So we're going to label him or that he fit, hit into a force out. That's an O. And that went 6-4. He didn't get out. He made it to first technically. Not really, though. But Seeger was out. This was a 6-4 four, force out. So we show that he is the third out here. But still, he was a bladder who started that. So the inning ends right there. So Lux, uh, he hits a single. Bueller comes up. For some reason, he's not bunting. So he hits to second base, right? Uh, so he hits to second base. Second baseman throws to shortstop. 
Oh, I labeled uh, the wrong thing here. So it's first base. Right there on the third inning. He, uh, Bueller hits to second base, who throws to shortstop to get Lux out. And then shortstop throws to first base to get Bueller out. So how do we label that? Well, we do the same thing we did for uh, Seeger up there. He only went halfway up. This was six, four. And then we're going to put D, P for double play. Six, four, three. We labeled the way the ball traveled all the way to get Bueller. So this is out number one. This is out number two. All right. All right. So now we're going up to the top. And uh, let's say we have a strikeout. All right. So that would be uh, two strikes. Let's say it's a full count. This strikeout is going to be looking. So the way we do a looking strikeout is a backward K. Okay. That's out number three. All right. Fourth inning. It's not a good game. We got Muncie up to plate. Uh, he's going to strike out swinging. So he works a full count. Right there. He strikes out swinging, which is a normal facing K. Not bad, right? Well, Turner... Decides he's gonna hit a triple uh, down the down the line, so I like to label that. Or we're gonna do three B. So he goes all the way through. Uh, I like to label where the ball traveled sometimes, so it's a down the line, and he gets to third base. You know, we're gonna label that. All right, so belly. He hits a deep fly ball, but it's not a home run. So he gets a sacrifice fly. So we're going to label that a sack fly. Um, Turner, we got to go back. Uh, so we can label the ball where it went to if you like. Right there. Turner runs in on the sack fly. So you label that. And we credit belly with an RBI. Pretty easy, right? So we have one out, two outs. Right there. So we need one more out. Let's do a strikeout, two, three, put out. So let's say Pollock has a two and two count. The pitcher throws a ball. Pollock swings, but the ball hits the ground uh, before it gets to the catcher. So it's like a wild pitch of sorts. Uh, so that still goes down as a K. But now the catcher has to throw the ball to the first baseman to get him out. So that's a K, two, three, put out for the third out. All right. We're going to do a fielder's choice and a fly out. So let's do some fly outs first. We're going to fly out to left field, center, and right field. So that's unfortunate. Um, who is this? Seeger comes up. He has a two and two count. And he flies out to left field. So we label that F7. Smith comes in, flies out to center. We label that as F8. Lux, f nine unfortunately and these guys are one out two outs and three outs so up next because this inning is over all right so up next we are because it's a sixth inning Bueller's pitched a lot of innings so uh we are gonna replace him with peterson so we're gonna do that here it's number 31 He's going to come in as a pinch hitter for our purpose. That's all he's going to do. It's the bottom of the sixth inning so that you can keep track of your batters. Sixth inning, bottom of the sixth inning. All right. So you can see here I indented already. Uh, this is a refilming here. So we're going to have him hit a single. doesn't really matter where. He goes to first base. 
So we draw a line from home to first. Up next, Mookie. He is batting in the top or the bottom of the six, second batter in. He's going to hit into a fielder's choice. So that just means that the infielders are going to decide to take Jock out and allow Mookie that first base. So he is going to be labeled as fielder's choice from home to first. But he hit to shortstop and shortstop then through to second baseman. So that is going to go down here, six, four, for the first out. You can also label that here, uh, six, four, right there. Uh, up next, we're going to have Muncy hit a double, which moves Mookie to third base. So he's going to hit a double right there. He gets to second base. Mookie goes to, oh, sorry. Mookie goes to third base. I'm watching myself draw these lines on the film. So next, he uh, we have Turner. He is going to, I have that dot already there, but here we go. He is going to hit a fly ball to left field that's going to get caught. Uh, Mookie is going to run to home to try and score the run because Dino thinks he can make it. But somehow he gets tagged out at home. So how do we do that? So Turner comes in. Let's uh, if you're keeping track of balls and strikes, there you go for full, full count. Um, he hits a fly ball to left field, which is an F7, as we learned right here. So he gets F7. He is the second out. Mookie is running after the ball is caught, but he is tagged out at home. So how is that labeled? We're gonna label him halfway, right there. And he was tagged out seven. Let's say the outfielder tagged to, uh, um, he passed the ball over to shortstop, who then passed it to uh, the catcher. So that's a seven, six, two out. Uh, he becomes the third out. I ran out of space there, so we're gonna label one, two, three, He's the third out. So again, we labeled it the way that they were out. So it was a single, a fielder's choice, which got Peterson out right here. We can label that as such right there. Muncie came in and hit a double. And then Turner came in, hit a fly ball to left field, which was caught. And then Mookie tried running in. Left fielder hit up the shortstop, shortstop, then threw the ball to home, and Moogie was called out. So that is the third out. We're closing out this inning right All here. All right, guys, last thing I'm going to show are pop-ups. Uh, I didn't show that before, so here we go. Pop-ups are very easy to do. Uh, they're fun to label, too, uh, although they're not good for the game on our side. So let's say that there's a pop-up to behind a uh, home plate to the catcher. Uh, so I label that as P2 for pop-up. I like to label where the ball went. Uh, I just draw a line that way. Uh, let's say it popped up to um, the second baseman for the next batter. So this is out number one. So that's again pop-up to four second baseman. And we're going to do a pop-up. Bam. Out number two. And we are going to pop up to third baseman and out of play here. That's pop up five and out number three. That's it, guys. All right, guys. So what did we learn? We learned uh, all the types of outs that we can get here. If I left some out, please let me know in the comments. We'll make some more videos for that. But we lined out to infielders. We lined out to outfielders. We grounded out to first base. We grounded out to third base, shortstop, second base. Uh, we had a fielder's choice. We flew out. We had a sack fly. We struck out looking. We struck out swinging. And we struck out on a ball to the ground and were put out by the catcher and the third and the first baseman. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know if you guys find this challenging. 
I'd love to see more people score keeping at games. If this is helping you out, let us know. Give us a like. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, take care, guys.